Okay, this is five centimeters of 16 millimeter round. Here we go. Back on the first blows over the far edge of the anvil. Very small surface area of contact here. So I'm moving a lot of metal with each blow and using my round die to further isolate a pound per square inch over that edge. So I'm really getting a huge amount of movement with each blow. I'm going to leave that blob there, then come back up top. I'm leaving the blob there so it can stay hot. And then after this pass, I should be able to go back to it, spit out some taper real quick. And also, by spitting out that small mass, small mass real quick, you should leave a longer part that's hot. Notice with each blow of the bar is almost getting hot. And I usually am rotating all four, oh, miss it there, all four sides, so that each side has a minimal contact time on the anvil. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to get that part, I'm just going to heat up the part next to it. There. I mean, there's a little bit of heat back there, so I can see what I can do up here. That's about that's about what I can do in the heat. So I'm gonna get measure that. Should have been, if I'd got that blob, I would have got an extra two inches or so. That's just a matter of practice and getting there in time. And my measurement, ah, uh, it's 200. 200 mil. That was right. Um, hammer's about four and a half pounds. It was forged with Daniel Lear in the city. Uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's it's one of the more tiring heats that you'll do when you're forging doing something like this. But yeah, 16 mil, five centimeters. Uh, yeah, not trying to kill yourself. Very interesting practice that allows you to think, really see uh, best ways of moving metal around.